You know, there's one thing that never changes in show business. No matter how successful you become when a new part comes along in a Broadway show and you want it, you still got to audition for it. And it's terrifying because you know there are hundreds of people auditioning for the same part. You know, sometimes there is more emotion and real drama in an audition than anybody ever sees on a Broadway stage. Thank you. Don't call us. We'll call you. Pete? Yeah. Anybody else to audition? Yeah, there's one more out there. All right, send them out. Anybody out there? What's your name? You are having the pleasure of meeting Harold J. Malfi, the guy who's going to make your play the biggest hit on Broadway. Look, Mr. Malfi, maybe you'd rather come back tomorrow? What's that? What do you mean? What do you mean, tomorrow? What? What do you think? You think just because I, I had a couple of drinks? Is that what you think? And I can't do an audition for you because I had a... Yes, okay. Okay, I had a couple of drinks. In fact, I had have, I have more than a couple. But what do you care? What do you care? You don't care. What's it to you, right? I mean, why should you care? Well, you, you have to do, my friend, is sit out there and watch actors fighting, fighting for their lives up here, you know, you, you, ought to, you ought to come up here. You ought to come up here and you ought to try it yourself, my friend. And you ought to get the feeling of rejection. Look, pal, why don't you just go home and sleep it off? Sure. Sure, sure. Sure, go home and sleep it off. Should I go home, my friend? Why don't I go home and try to explain to my wife why the... Yes, I'll go home. I'll go home and try to tell her why I've been turned down again. Turned down by some smug and faceless producer who wouldn't know acting talent if he saw it. Mr. Malfi! I'm not going to tell you again. Now, you get your feet out of this theater, I'm going to throw you out. Now, Pete, show him the door. Hold it. That will not be necessary. You see, I'm not really drunk. I realize uh, that you see a lot of people, and I wanted to make an impression. I'm sorry. Uh, you really did. <laughs> you had me fooled. Good. Unfortunately, we don't need anybody to play the part of the drunk. Now, didn't your agent tell you what we're, uh, what we're looking for? We just said it was a part of a drunk. Well, it's not. It's a, it's a, it's a musical. It's about a brash young entertainer who <laughs> tries to climb up into the world by stepping in everybody's toes. Hey, are you kidding? I can do a part like that with my lips tied behind my back. Pal Joe and Sammy Glick. That's me. See, I am the greatest. The greatest talent in show business. Do you know nobody in the world can play a part the way I can? <laughs> I can... Hold it. My part's already taken. Oh, what do you have open? Well, Mr. Malfi, a big talent like you wouldn't be interested. Just a small part. Part of an old man, the father. Besides, you're too young for it anyway. All right. Well, if it's really a, really a small part, then uh, I guess that wouldn't interest me. <laughs> I mean, I... My agent... Well, anyway, I thought it was a bigger part, and, uh... Well, thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Hey, uh... Excuse me. How, how small a part is it? It's the mouth is just a few lines. How many? Well, it's just a couple. It, it, uh, it leads into a song. A song? Mm. Really? I, I can play an old man. I really can. I really can. I tell you... If, to play an old man, you have to know about the feelings of an old man, the thoughts, the, the dreams of an old man. In other words, what goes through his mind, you know what I'm saying? I mean, when, when he thinks about how he spent his life. 
for instance, I mean, to play an old man, you've got to, you've got to, well, you've got to create his room. His bed, an overstuffed chair, a handful of memories, good memories and bad ones, but they're mine. Oh, it's a long, long way from May to December. But the time, goes fast when you reach September. And the autumn weather, turns the leaves to flame. One hasn't got time for the waiting game. And the days dwindle down to a precious few. September. November, November, and these few precious days I'll spend with you. These precious. I'll spend with That was very good. Very good, Mr. Malfi, but uh, well, you're not you're not quite what we're looking for. I'm sorry. You're really a little too young to play an old man and if something comes up, I'll let you know. Thank you anyway. Agnes, would you call my wife? Tell her I'll go home for dinner. Call the steakhouse and make reservations for dinner. Gentlemen, Miss Barbara Bay. If you go away on this summer day, you might as well take the sun away and the birds that flew in the summer sky when our love was new and our hearts were high, when the day was young and the night was long, and the moon stood still for the night bird's song. If you go away. If you go away, you go away. But if you stay, I'll make you a day like no day has been or will be again. We'll sail on the sun, we'll ride on the rain, we'll talk to the trees, we'll worship the wind. And if you go, I'll understand. Leave me just enough. You go away, and I know you will. You must tell the world to stop turning till 
you return again if you ever do for what good is love without loving you can i tell you now as you turn to go i'll be dying slowly till that next hello if you go away if you go away if you go away but if you stay i'll make you a night like no night has been or will be again i'll sail on your smile i'll ride on your touch i'll talk to your eyes that i love so much and if you go go i won't cry though the good is gone from the word goodbye if you go away if you go away If you go away, as you know you must, there'll be nothing left in this world to trust. Just an empty room full of empty space, like that empty look I see in your face. I'd have been the shadow of your shadow if I thought it might have kept me by your side. If you go away, if you go away, if you go away, please don't. Go away. Please don't go away. Marty, what do you tell people who ask you how to get ahead in show business? Well, I usually say study hard, hope for luck, and try to know your craft better than anyone else. That's a good answer. I know somebody who knows his craft better than anybody else in the whole world, Mr. Ed Hurley. Just when I was beginning to trust you. Oh, yeah. 